It's Father Randy coming at you live with another CCD Learning for the year, school year 2020-2021. And I've chosen as my topic uh, this evening to uh, talk about the Sacrament of Confirmation because uh, we'll have four of our young people coming up very shortly on February 16th receive that sacrament from our bishop, Bishop Malloy, when he comes to St. Patrick's Church in Maytown. And so I want to start out by uh, just talking about the matter of the, the Sacrament of Confirmation. Remember, all of the sacraments, they have form and matter. And so the matter is the uh, physical aspect of the sacrament that touches our bodies to let us know that grace has been given. And the form of the sacrament is the prayer that accompanies that matter. So for baptism, the water, uh, we're sitting in front of the baptismal font here at, at the church in Sublette, Our Lady Perpetual Help, the Easter candle uh, behind me to my right and your left. And uh, the uh, sacrament of baptism has the matter, is the water that touches our bodies to let us know that grace has give, been given to us. The form of the sacrament is that prayer that accompanies the pouring, the thrice pouring of the water. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So that's the form of the sacrament. For confirmation, the matter of the sacrament is the holy oils, the chrism. So I have behind me, on my left and your right, the ambry it's called. So an ambry is a special container that contains the uh, sacred oils that are blessed by the bishop every uh, uh, chrism mass uh, on Holy Thursday. And so the uh, pride of place of all three of the oils that are blessed is the sacred chrism. And so the uh, mass even gets its name for the blessing of this oil. This is the oil that smells good. Uh, this is the oil that is given to us at our baptisms also at confirmation. So like I said, this is the matter, the physical substance that the bishop puts on our body to let us know that grace has been given. Also the sacrament of holy orders. So when a priest is ordained, uh, his hands are consecrated, uh, rubbed with the uh, sacred chrism oil, consecrated then to be able to confect the Eucharist at every Catholic mass then. And so uh, this is the oil that smells good. This is the uh, when every time a baby comes home from its uh, chrism, uh, everybody wants to smell the baby's head. Well, you confirmandi, uh, come your confirmation day, uh, your relatives and friends that have uh, come to help you celebrate the sacrament, they want to smell your forehead. They'll want to smell the sacred uh, oil, the chrism that smells so good. So I've, uh, it's unfortunate, but I've heard uh, even bishops say that uh, confirmation is a sacrament that's in search of a theology. Well, that's just crazy, that's bunk. You know, they ought to have their Catholic, uh, uh, Catholic cards taken from them if uh, they think that uh, the Sacrament of Confirmation doesn't have uh, theology behind it. The Catholic Church has always stated that Confirmation is a sacrament. And what's the theology of this great sacrament? It's the great mystery of the Transfiguration. Huh? So remember when our Lord took his uh, three disciples up the mountain, uh, Peter, uh, James and his brother John, and they said, Peter said that our Lord was transfigured in glory. His clothes and his face became dazzling white. Such his clothes were whiter than any fuller could make them on earth. And then they uh, were overshadowed by that cloud, which is the Holy Spirit, and they heard the voice of God say, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Huh? That's confirmation. So, God the Father said those exact same words when Jesus came up out of the waters of baptism. He said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. And so what does he do at the transfiguration? God says the exact same thing as he said at Jesus' baptism. He reconfirms that this is Jesus is his son, that he's been anointed, and that he's to uh, go forth and do the Father's will. That's what pleases God the Father, that Jesus always did the will of his heavenly Father. And so I think uh, here in the wisdom of the Roman Catholic Church, it really comes out, and I mean here the Western Church, uh, we do things as opposed to the way the Eastern uh, Catholic Churches do things. So the Eastern Catholic Churches, they'll roll the three sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist into one. So as a baby, people in the East, Eastern Church, they're baptized, they're confirmed, and then a little piece of the host, the Eucharist, is put on their tongue. And the baby actually receives its first Holy Communion when he's just, you know, a few days, a few months old. But here in the Western Church, 
uh, we have a different way of looking at the sacraments. And so, uh, your parents asked for you to be baptized when you were too uh, young to speak for yourself. They gave you that great gift of baptism. But now that you're older, now you say to God, no, uh, I don't want to rely on the faith of my parents. They gave me baptism. They spoke for me when I couldn't speak for myself. I want to stand on my own two feet. I want to glorify you, God, with my life. And so I ask you, Lord Jesus, to send the Holy Spirit so that I can be confirmed, strengthened by the graces of confirmation. I can live out uh, my baptismal vows. All the same graces that are given at baptism are given again at your confirmation. Only there's a difference this time, a big difference. At your baptism, your parents spoke for you. Now you speak for yourself at confirmation. And the bishop will ask you to recite the creed. Usually that's done in baptismal form, and I'm sure it will be on uh, February 16th at Maytown's Church of St. Patrick. And then you'll come over, come forward, and you'll receive the, the oil of anointing. And so I have, uh, I have here a little replica of you when you were baptized. This is how big you were. And when you came up out of the, the waters of uh, uh, baptism, uh, the priest uh, took some of the sacred chrism, some of the same oil that Bishop Malloy is going to use on you at your confirmation. But when you were baptized, the uh, uh, priest took a little bit of that oil and he anointed the crown of your head, the back of your head, where it would be that if you were a king, uh, the crown would be placed on your head. That's where you were anointed with the sacred chrism. And so, uh, you know, we say at baptism, you are priest, prophet, and king, huh? And so that's why the back, the crown of your head is uh, chrismated with the holy chrism oil then. And uh, we'll see a little bit of that played out uh, even on Ash Wednesday. So this year, Ash Wednesday is going to be a little bit different. Uh, instead of uh, putting a cross on, the, on our foreheads with the, uh, with the ashes, uh, the priest will sprinkle the ashes on the top of our head, on the crown of our head. So again, a uh, type of anointing, only this time not with something as beautiful as sacred chrism, but with something uh, uh, is the uh, epitome of sin and the human condition, the ashes of Ash Wednesday. Okay? But when you come forward at uh, your confirmation, what the bishop's going to do is take the sacred chrism and anoint your forehead with the sacred chrism. So if we look at this baby doll, uh, he was baptized, or she, I don't know what it is, uh, that was baptized, the, the crown of the head was anointed, then at, bapt, at confirmation, the front of the head is anointed. What does that mean? Your whole intellect has been consecrated. Consecrated means set aside by God for a specific purpose. So what's the purpose? that you've been set aside for at your confirmation to defend the Catholic faith. And now you have the whole resources of your intellect, wisdom and uh, foresight and knowledge, uh, all these things that the Holy Spirit gives you uh, to be able to defend your faith in the public arena because your faith, the Catholic Church, is under attack in our society. And so the Catholic Church will have uh, Bishop Malloy, your bishop, uh, confirm you so that you can be a defender of the faith uh, in the world at large. Okay? Uh, just something beautiful. And uh, the anointing will be a little bit different because of the pandemic. Uh, uh, I'm still sorting it out. But uh, what will happen is probably we'll have a shallow dish of the uh, sacred chrism. And I'll take a cotton, uh, just a cotton ball, and I'll just swipe it through this shallow dish of the oil hand it to the bishop, and then the bishop will mark your forehead with the sign of the cross. He'll uh, chrismate your forehead, like I said. He'll say, receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And then uh, uh, he'll hand me back that, uh, that cotton ball, and we'll uh, wind up burning those cotton balls later. They'll burn really easy with that oil of the chrism on them. And then the bishop will uh, purify his hands He'll sanitize his hands, and then the next confirmandi will come forward, and the same process will be repeated. But uh, we'll have more uh, confirmation videos, and I hope to uh, to see all of you uh, confirmandi uh, at our holy hour next Thursday 
at St. Patrick's Church, our, our Lady Perpetual Hope Church in Sublette. We'll have a holy hour just for you, and then we'll have a special mass uh, the Sunday before your confirmation. So Sunday, uh, February 7th, we'll celebrate the mass. No, we'll, it'll be February 14th. So the Sunday before your confirmation, we'll meet for mass with your families and your sponsor, hopefully, at the Church of St. Patrick, where you'll be confirmed in two days and we'll celebrate the Eucharist because that confirmation is just going to be a liturgy of the word. It's not gonna be a mass just because the bishop's trying to keep our exposure to the pandemic at a minimum. So we, we're not gonna have a confirmation mass. It'll be a confirmation uh, liturgy of the word. But it will be just that, that beautiful thing of your, uh, your whole intellect being consecrated by the holy oils so that you can defend your Catholic faith. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, confirmanding candidates, your sponsors, and your families. Prepare your hearts to receive this great gift of confirmation. We ask this blessing in the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God.